If you're looking for a simple way to build a hallway cabinet for extra storage in your home, you're gonna love this video. We built this hallway cabinet with no complicated joinery, which makes it a perfect project for a beginning woodworker. First, you're gonna cut down the plywood to size. We decided to paint our cabinet so it really simplified the build process. If you're planning on staining your cabinet, you may need to do some more complicated joinery like rabbit and dado cuts. After everything's cut to size, Rockler's Pro Shelf Drilling Jig really makes the drilling shelf pinholes a complete breeze. You can just attach this jig and drill all of your pinholes for the shelves at the same time. When it comes to assembling the cabinet, you definitely want to be sure you're assembling the pieces on a completely level surface. Armed with a level surface and Rockler's Clamp It Corner clamping jigs, it really makes squaring up the corners of the cabinet base really easy. You just attach the clamps to the corner and it holds the pieces at a perfect 90 degree angle while you screw it together. For the back of the cabinet, we simply attached a sheet of quarter inch plywood. We knew that we would be trimming things out once the cabinet touched the wall and we put it in the hallway, so we didn't need to cover the edge of the back. Next, you can add your cabinet's front face. Again, since we were painting the hallway cabinet, we were just able to use extra plywood for the front face. Now with your cabinet assembled, it's time to focus on that countertop. You'll see that we made the countertop with some oak veneer plywood attached to a piece of half inch MDF panel. We attached it with construction adhesive. The MDF panel was screwed to the cabinet first and then we let construction adhesive set and dry overnight with some heavy things on top and some clamps added to the front. This was a really easy and pretty cheap way to build a countertop for our hallway cabinet. After the construction adhesive is set, you can sand the edges to make sure it's nice and smooth, cut your oak trim, and then attach it. Now it's time to move on to the cabinet doors. We were looking for a really budget-friendly way to build cabinet doors, and this certainly was cheap. We ended up creating the cabinet doors with a half-inch MDF as trim pieces, and then attached it to a piece of quarter inch MDF. Now it's time to paint the cabinet. We simply painted the cabinet with a paint roller, starting with the inside of the cabinet and moving on to the front and the sides. After everything has dried completely, finish by sealing everything with polyurethane. Now it's time to focus on that countertop. Remember, we added the oak trim around the edges of the plywood countertop and then we stained everything. Finish off with a coat of polyurethane as well. Now you can get that cabinet in place in your hallway, attach the doors with the hinges, and install your trim pieces. Even if you've never built a cabinet before, this is a great one to start on. We designed this cabinet with a beginning woodworker in mind because it doesn't have any of the complicated cuts for joinery. Not only does this provide linen storage, but it also is a spot for our printer to go. We added an outlet to the back of the cabinet. I love how we utilized this unused area of our hallway and turned it into this hallway cabinet. For more DIY tutorials, visit makingmansanita.com.